All right, headed into this weekend, a beautiful stretch of weather coming our way. Sunshine, warm temperatures. There's a lot of outdoor activities taking place between Christmas parades this weekend, and we'll take a look at some of the forecasts for that. Also, you've got the flotillas happening tomorrow night, state championship football games over the next couple days, and maybe even getting out in the yard and doing some yard work and more importantly, putting the outdoor Christmas lights up. I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Still here with your Friday morning web forecast. And let's take a look as we close the book on November and head into December this weekend, where we've stood for the month of November. Well, it was actually a little bit below normal, about five and a half degrees below normal as far as temperatures are concerned. Average high temperature for this time of year is in the mid-60s, and we were just barely near 60 degrees. The warmest temperature occurred back in on the 12th of 78 degrees, and our coldest was just yesterday as we saw temperatures into the uh, mid-20s widespread across the area. And again, we're just kind of starting off there a couple degrees warmer this morning. As far as rainfall was concerned, I still continue with a deficit. Uh, in fact, uh, we'll probably start the month of December at a rainfall deficit. Not even an inch of rainfall in New Bern uh, last month uh, for the month of November, and uh, that puts us about two and a third inches below normal for the entire year. Sunshine seasonal temperatures with light southwesterly winds for the day today, maybe a few high clouds around. Could also be a little bit of light patchy fog again overnight tonight. Now, I think we'll most spots hold into the mid to upper 30s tonight, probably mid 40s at the beaches, and sunny and pleasant conditions in here for tomorrow. Mid 60s is where we should be, and I think a lot of the deeper inland spots will be in that 62, 63, 64 degree range as we go on through tomorrow. Now, here's where we've gone through this week. Monday and Tuesday was nice and warm. Temps were into the 70s or 60s even. Uh, we had the cold front come through late Tuesday going into Wednesday, and we've been recovering ever since. And this will kind of be the trend as we go into next week. We'll warm up through the weekend into early next week. Front comes through on Wednesday, drop back down again, and then work our way back up. I don't see any real prolonged cold air hitting and holding at least through the middle of December. Now, once we get past that, all bets are off because – Winter is going to be in full force for us here in eastern Carolina. But our weather pattern right now dictated by a high pressure sliding off of the coast as a result of the way the jet stream is configured. We are looking at the storm track remaining well to the north across the northern uh, portions of the United States and Great Lakes. And this is storm system number two that is making its way in across the Pacific Northwest. Storm system number three will be impacting us as we go in through the middle of next week. That will come ashore as we go through this weekend. And again, some spots in Northern California could be looking at close to a foot of rainfall when all of these storms are said and done. So that's going to be the big weather headline along the West Coast. But for the East Coast here, we've got wall-to-wall -wall sunshine around, the storm track remaining well off towards our north, only a few high mid-level clouds coming by from time to time from now all the way in through the weekend. And again, you can see the reason for this is the way that the jet stream is configured here. You'll notice that as we go on through the day today, the cold air remains bottled up in Canada. West-southwesterly winds bringing that warmer air out of the desert southwest right across eastern Carolina here. And then you'll notice as we go in through this weekend, the ridge actually kind of starts building, heights build, as it centers itself along the Gulf Coast states here. Meanwhile, west-southwesterly flow continues to warm us up. And I think by early next week, we're looking at temperatures that are going to be into the low to mid-70s thanks to the weather pattern remaining keeping the cold air bottled up in Canada, allowing all that warmer air to come out of the desert southwest right into us here in eastern Carolina. Now, you do notice by the middle of next week, colder air starts to make it a little bit of an intrusion. This is going to be a weak transient trough. It kind of brings a cooler shot of air in behind it for a day or two. But notice the ridge refires out here in the Rockies, and that comes eastbound for later next weekend going into the following week. So it looks like nice, bright, sunny conditions will be with us all the way through this weekend here. Here's what future track does show. The storm track, again, remains well off towards our north, and we'll be seeing nothing more than just a few clouds coming by from time to time for this weekend. Hey, if you are planning on heading out to some of the uh, Christmas parades for tomorrow, let's start off early in Greenville. Wes and Val will be at that one. Anna and I will be in Washington after doing the tree lighting ceremony in New Bern tonight. We'll be looking for temperatures in Greenville for the parade tomorrow into the mid-50s with just a few clouds around. And then West and Val will be trucking it down to New Bern for the afternoon party and parade that kicks off at 3 o'clock. Temperatures by then with the sunshine will be into the mid-60s. And again, we've got the New Bern and also Beaufort Flotilla happening tomorrow evening uh, after the parades or in the afternoon Beaufort parade.
kicks off around 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and temps will be into the mid-60s as well. So, planning forecast does show each day a little bit warmer than the next. Upper 60s by the time we hit Sunday, low to mid-70s for Monday and Tuesday, then the front comes in here on Wednesday and cools us back down. Keep in mind, if you're looking for something to do tonight, Ann and I will be at the Double Tree in downtown New Bern, 6 o'clock for the tree lighting ceremony. This is my uh, fourth year of doing it. We've got uh, temperatures will be falling back through the 50s as we go on through the evening hours here. But as I said, a beautiful stretch of weather is in store for us here in eastern Carolina as we head on through this weekend. Definitely not feeling like the holiday season, but that'll probably come just in time for the actual holiday itself. I'm Stormcheck 12 meteorologist Les Dell. Enjoy your weekend.